this past year or so has really been the year of the, uh, I guess, ascendant AI. So AI generators are taking over a lot of the internet and people are using them mostly for their own entertainment right now. Um, but you can input text and it will generate an image based on that. And they're actually, sometimes they're really bad, sometimes they're incredibly good. Um, and I know there's this recent one, what is it, like the GPT thing, which will create very uh, complicated stories and all this kind of stuff, very impressive stuff. Like AI um, looks pretty impressive. Uh, and, and now I wanna go ahead and make a prediction. And um, that is firstly, well, I will say this, uh, maybe I'll touch, this, touch on this later in the video, but I think that um, AI and its ability to like solve problems or be useful uh, is definitely like way over exaggerated. Um, AI does well uh, things that people are impressed by, like generating art, but that art is not necessarily always something coherent uh, or something, uh, you know, you couldn't necessarily use an AI to make a concise decision like landing planes uh, in like highly complex domains or something like that, right? Um, so it's impressive stuff, but it's not necessarily, um, you can't build your world on it. So last year, let me just say this, I, I made kind of a prescient video. Uh, where I said something like uh, search engines are basically dead now. They're basically useless. And the reason I said that, and this is like 100% true, is all search engine results that you now get are basically AI generated. Um, now, of course, these AIs, they're not like hyper intelligent creatures that are answering your every question. They're actually uh, hyper non-intelligent creatures that are really just trying to get your clicks, right? So this is something that you've probably seen, you might not have even noticed it, but let me just, uh, just randomly, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at the store, right, um, hardware store, and I wanted to figure out, okay, what kind of nails, uh, like what length of nails, what, you know, what, what number nail do I need, um, or screws, excuse me, what number screw, and like what type of screw do I need to screw into this kind of wood, right, or what's the best kind to get long ter term. Um, so I remember looking that up on my phone. I didn't do it uh, before I left, but I ended up doing it at the location. And, um, you know, of course, every single result I get, what is it? It's all AI-generated results, right? It's all stuff like, screws are very important for doing woodworking. And you can use many types of screws. There are different lengths and blah, blah, blah. And that is like every single result, right? So it's nothing, you, you can put questions into search engines nowadays. And the results that you're gonna get are basically these AI results that are just kind of word association games. Uh, even if like the, the title of the article is a specific question, it will not answer that question in the article. That's how these, um, these articles work, right? Um, and more than that, like usually they just re they're just putting words out there, right? Um, so the thing is, there's this theory out there uh, that people often uh, quote, and it's very true, and it's called the dead internet theory, okay? People have been talking about this for years, um, but it's definitely becoming true now. And that is uh, the internet, um, I mean, the internet really is dead. Like uh, back, you know, I, I've talked often about like back in the 90s, uh, when you went to a site that was like a personal site, you know what I mean? Uh, run by a person. Um, nowadays, there's very little interaction with other people online, weirdly enough, right? Um, any interaction you have with another person is actually through a social media site. Everything else, all the other sites you go to at this point are basically AI generated, right? Or algorithmically generated. I mean, an algorithm is a super simple AI, right? Um, so this is something that's now uh, become like, like this is our new normal, right? It used to be you could actually use a search engine and get specific results to things. Like that was not a difficult thing to do. Um, but now, now it is, and now it is. So like there's more stuff on the internet, but it's been so crowded out by like random gibberish that you, you actually can't get anything from it. Um, so the irony is, and the irony I talked about in that video last year is like people are getting herded to social media sites just because AIs are taking over the rest of the things, right? Um, now the irony, there, there are of course some AIs that are like so good, like I, I think the chat GPT thing um, allegedly is like so good that there are some questions you can actually just an ask it and it will give you specific answers. But the issue is, uh, more often than not, it's confabulating answers, right? So it's just kind of making things up to respond to your question, not necessarily, you know, it, it's still making uh, assessments based on word association, not whether or not they're true or not. And frankly, you wouldn't want it making assessments based on what it's true. Uh, because then, you know, it's just going to tell you to get, like, the COVID vax and all this kind of stuff that, like, uh, you know, whoever programming it says, oh, we need to bias it in this direction or the other, right? Um, so either way, like, looking at an AI 
for answering questions when it's confabulating answers just to give you an answer, right? That's basically the equivalent of like killing a bird and looking at its entrails for what to do. It quite literally is the equivalent because, you know, there might be some basis in truth, um, uh, but really you're just getting some kind of answer just to make you more certain about what you're doing. That's about it. Like it's not like, um, it's not like a real thing. So I think like people are very impressed by AIs uh, because like, um, I, because they falsely assume a lot of the, the times that AIs like have some kind, they actually are intelligences. They actually are like consciousnesses that like know things. Um, the reality about like programming AIs, oh man, overexposed. Uh, the, the reality about uh, programming AIs is like the, the software that goes into it is actually very simple. The reason, uh, you know, people in AI will, will often say this, and this is true, like uh, the programming in AI is actually relatively simple compared to, you know, more complicated programs we've had for years. The reason we're only getting AIs now is because we didn't have the computing power for it before. Because you have to train it on data and do all this kind of crazy stuff that uh, you need a lot of uh, programming, or excuse me, a processing power for. Um, so really they're just like kind of dumb algorithms that are just looking at massive sets of data uh, and drawing these kind of conclusions. And again, like they do these things, like they're, they're great at, they're great at like giving kind of impressionistic answers or impressionistic art, frankly, frankly. Uh, you know, you, you could get it drawing a, actually, you know, I'll probably do that in the thumbnail. Draw a picture of Luke Smith walking in the, the woods, right? And it won't give anything too precise. It might, you know, muddle up my face or like, um, it might not know who I am. Some AIs know who I am, some don't. Um, but like, uh, it's, it's one of those things, you know, it depends on what data it's been trained on, right? Um, anyway, so... Um, what I'm getting at is like AIs, they're going to create a boring and mediocre future on the internet. In fact, they've already created it because most of the stuff that you were interacting with on the internet now is just total nonsense. Like you're not talking to another person. You're talking to this like system that is, uh, like this, this self-propelling unconscious system that is kind of pro it's programmed itself, but it's also programming you with just like seeing the same kind of stuff over and over again. And it can be nudged in one direction or the other. Um, so it's just kind of this like solid, the internet is becoming like really the solipsistic place. Um, I, at this point, no, you know, as I mentioned, like search engines, are, search engines are basically useless for trying to get any kind of information from at this point. Um, so I find myself, there was a period of like the past two years or so where I basically didn't use search engines to look for questions. And I would like look if I wanted to know like, oh, I don't know, what kind of oil do I need to change the oil on my car or something like that? I would end up just searching on YouTube because even though that's something that could literally be answered by like one sentence of text, that sentence of text is impossible to find on these auto-generated sites. So I would search on YouTube for something like that, but the problem with that is twofold. Uh, well, threefold because one, YouTube videos are freaking long. Um, two, uh, frankly, a lot of YouTube videos now, they're algorithmic content now. Like a lot of them are auto-generated more than you expect. Um, you've probably seen, if you look for specific questions, a lot of times you'll get these, um, these like voiceover clips that, you know, or they'll have like a robot voice or something with just like random pictures in the back. That's a common thing now. And I've actually even seen a couple channels um, that are just like people like, people like look, who look like me talking at a screen for a second. And then they go to some like uh, PowerPoint looking thing that talks about something totally different that is like auto generated, right? So it makes you think it's a real person doing it, but it's actually not, you know? Um, so what was I gonna say? So like the, those are all kind of annoying. And of course, just in general, the other third reason is like, um, like uh, getting information on YouTube is basically just annoying, not because of the AI, but just because like of YouTubers. Because here, every YouTuber, they, they have to, let's say they, you have one question you wanna ask them and uh, they will do three minutes at the beginning of the video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, blah, blah, blah. You, you, you all know it, like they can't just like, I don't know, if they have a single thing they wanna say, they can't just say it. They have to like put, or, put like their sponsors all over the place. I mean, that's the annoying thing about it. Um, so anyway, all of this is to say, all of this is to voice my frustration with how difficult it is to find like simple information online. And, you know, I've said, said before, like, I, I really think that um, artisanal sites are needed on the internet. And we need to get, a, we also need to get away from like search engines and crap like that. Because, uh, you know, back, back before search engines, 
how people found information is on sites that were indexed with like indexed content, right? So, you know, you, they would have a bunch of different uh, cooking sites or, or, you know, other informational, oh, here's a site to tell you how to fix your car and stuff like that. There was no search engine involved, and all of these sites were maintained by individual people. And I think if the internet is, well, I don't necessarily expect this is going to happen, like it should happen on the internet now. Um, but that's really the only way of getting out of this kind of like AI hell where everything, you're never interacting with a person. It's all, all just like kind of nonsense and you're just getting these random like bird in trail answers to everything you're doing. Um, that I think is the inevitable future on the internet unless like at least a small bit of us can carve out this little area where we can still be humans on the internet. Um, and I think the scariest thing of all, right? is if AI becomes too good, right? And like some conspiracy people have talked about this and uh, you know, conspiracy people basically, uh, they have a hundred percent track record. So I'm gonna trust them on this, but you know, what's happening is the AIs are getting so good at like um, extrapolating uh, video. So let's say like an AI is trained against me, right? So it becomes very, oh, auto generate a Luke Smith video, right? Um, and then like you could get, have it video, or not just the text, but also like the video content. You could have it auto-generate that. Well, then you can start, this is the conspiracy theory point. Well, you could have like AIs that actually just replace real people. Like let's say, uh, oh, we, um, you know, we ban some, I don't know, someone who's based off of the internet and then replace them with an AI that's like just giving, gi giving like uh, takes that sound like them, but they're kind of like lamer or like they're kind of more mainstream. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'm talking about, like this, uh, the, that's the thing that's worrisome, like AI, if it ever becomes really good, which I don't, I definitely don't think it's really good now, I mean it does like parlor tricks basically, uh, but if it ever becomes really impressive, that's definitely the kind of thing that it could do. Um, so it's also something to think about, like, is your behavior on the internet algorithmic? <laughs> like is your behavior, is your behavior like uh, something that could be easily uh, reproduced by an AI? I don't know, that's something, that's something to think about, because, I don't know. All right, so that's it. That's all about all I got to say. Uh, it's actually cold today. <laughs> I have nothing to say at the end of this video. Bye.